One of the greatest achievements of ancient Chinese engineering and innovation was the invention of the first known earthquake detector or seismoscope by Zhang Heng during the Han Dynasty in the year 132. This remarkable device was not only a testament to ancient scientific ingenuity, but also an important milestone in humanity's understanding of seismic activity. Zhang Heng's seismoscope demonstrated the sophistication of ancient Chinese science and continues to be celebrated for its ingenious design and functionality. Wait to hear this. Zhang Heng was a polymath of extraordinary talent. As an astronomer, mathematician, engineer, poet and an inventor, he made numerous contributions to the fields of science and technology. He lived during the Eastern Han Dynasty and served as an official at the Imperial Court where his intellectual pursuits gained recognition. His seismoscope was designed to address a critical need, detecting earthquakes to inform government officials, enabling them to provide timely relief to affected regions. The seismoscope was a large bronze vessel approximately 6 feet in diameter, shaped like an urn or a barrel. The device was ornately decorated with 8 dragon heads arranged around its circumference, each holding a small ball in its mouth. Below each dragon head was a bronze toad with its mouth open, ready to catch the ball. Inside the device, a central pendulum or weighted mechanism was designed to respond to ground vibrations caused by seismic waves. So when an earthquake occurred, the internal mechanism would tilt in the direction of the seismic waves, causing one of the dragon heads to release its ball into the corresponding toad's mouth. The direction in which the ball dropped indicated the location of the earthquake's epicenter relative to the seismoscope. Zhang Heng's seismoscope was revolutionary because it was capable of detecting earthquakes from great distances. Ancient Chinese records suggest that this device could sense tremors that were not perceptible to humans, making it an early example of a highly sensitive seismic instrument. One famous account demonstrates its effectiveness. The seismoscope reportedly detected an earthquake in the western region of Longji, modern-day Gansu province. Even though no tremors were felt in the capital, Luoyang, where the device was located, days later, a messenger arrived from the Longji confirming that an earthquake had indeed occurred. Although the exact internal workings of Zhang Heng's seismoscope remain a mystery, Due to the loss of the original blueprints, modern reconstructions suggest it relied on principles of inertia and momentum. The central pendulum or inverted pendulum mechanism would shift in response to seismic vibrations, triggering the release of the ball. The seismoscope was a practical tool for the Han Dynasty government, enabling officials to identify and respond to earthquakes quickly. This was an essential task in a vast empire where earthquakes often caused destruction and loss of life. Zhang Heng's invention reflects the importance of science and technology in addressing societal challenges even in ancient times. The seismoscope's design principles laid the groundwork for modern seismology. Though rudimentary compared to today's highly advanced seismographs, it marked the first recorded attempt to create a device specifically for detecting and analysing seismic activity. Modern seismology has since developed sophisticated tools to measure the magnitude, duration and depth of earthquakes, but the conceptual leap made by Zhang Heng remains a source of inspiration. Beyond scientific and practical importance, Zhang Heng's seismoscope symbolises the ingenuity 
and creativity of ancient Chinese civilization. It represents the fusion of artistry and engineering as evidenced by the ornate dragon and toad designs which combine symbolic elements of Chinese culture and functional technology. In modern times, replicas of the seismoscope are displayed in museums worldwide. This is a tribute to Zhang Heng's genius. They remind us that ancient cultures possessed remarkable knowledge and skill, often far ahead of their time. Zhang Heng's seismoscope was a groundbreaking invention that exemplified the ingenuity of ancient Chinese science and engineering. It addressed a real-world problem with an elegant and effective solution, highlighting the Han Dynasty's commitment to technological innovation. Although many centuries have passed since its creation, the seismoscope remains an enduring symbol of human curiosity and the drive to understand and mitigate the forces of nature. Another Chinese invention, similar to the earthquake detector in its ingenuity and practical application, is the South Pointing Chariot. This device, invented during the Three Kingdoms period, is often credited to the brilliant engineer and inventor Ma Jun, although earlier prototypes may have existed. The South Pointing Chariot was a mechanical device designed to indicate direction, specifically south, without relying on the stars, the sun, or a magnetic compass. It was essentially a form of a mechanical compass that functioned through a system of gears and differential motion rather than magnetism. The South Pointing Chariot consisted of a cart or a chariot equipped with a complex arrangement of gears. On top of the chariot was a figure or a statue, often of a man or a celestial figure, with an outstretched arm that continuously pointed south regardless of how the chariot moved or turned. The mechanism inside the chariot worked using differential gearing which allowed the figure to maintain its orientation as the wheels of the chariot turned. The gears inside were carefully calibrated to account for changes in direction caused by the chariot's movement, ensuring that the pointer always indicated south. This innovation required a deep understanding of mechanical engineering and mathematics, showcasing the advanced technological knowledge of ancient Chinese inventors.